Hey, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about automations and forms on monday.com. So this is a way to get things to streamline as far as the automations and saving yourself time, but also the forms is how you can create an easy way for people to kind of give ideas to the company or be able to change things on the fly or give feedback. So what we're looking at here is the suggestion box here. Um, I created this by going to add, and then this is a board right here. So this is a board within this uh, workspace here. And you can see that I have implemented suggestions and suggestions down here. So what you want to start with is a form. So if I want to rename this one, I'm going to call this the uh, suggestion form. But I'm going to show you how I created this form and what it looks like. So this right here is the suggestion box right here. Let me finish renaming this. So the way that you would create one of these is you can go to add view. And then what you do is you'd click on form. So this will look very similar to Google Forms. So why don't we go to this example form right here. This is suggestion box, etc. Any one of these things, if you don't want it shown on the form itself, you'd hide the question. You can hide questions, requesters, etc. Uh, but this one's just an example form. So why don't we go to the suggestions form of what we're actually going to use. So you can see that this one, I'm hiding that. I do want them to put the date in. What suggestions do you have to improve our business systems and processes? Uh, who's submitting this suggestion uh, and then you can add new questions here as well so if you want to you know pick a date range phone email country whatever it may be uh, you want short long text uh, all of these things are possibilities inside of here so once you have the form ready you can share it uh, it can be a shareable link or it can be an embed so why don't we take a look at what this uh, form actually looks like so in the form right here, it opens up and you can put in the date. Let's say it's January 1st and it's 1920. Long time ago that this form is being put in. What suggestions do you have for the business? Uh, I'm going to put in a suggestion that everybody wears green on Tuesdays. And then I'm going to put in that this came from Eric Worrell, which is me. Submit. So now what happens here is once you submit this, it should automatically create a um, an item in your suggestions down here. So if we just give this a moment, this is gonna pop in. Usually what I've found is it takes about five to 10 seconds for these things to show up. So uh, let's see if we can figure this out and see how long it takes for this to show up. Okay, so now we have this, everybody should wear green on Tuesdays. So the status, there isn't one yet, right? But what you can do is create automations. So why don't we take a look at some of the automations that I've already created and we'll work on other automations as well. So this particular automation here, very simple. It's just when status changes to done, move item to implemented suggestions. So the way that you can create these is let's say you want to create a new atom or automation. In that particular case, I went to status change because that was the category. And then I found that actually pre-made template right here. When status changes to something, move item to group. So if I was creating this when status, and then we can go down here, status changes to done. Uh, then move item to, and I want it to implement in suggestions. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So this is kind of nice because it just kind of saves you some steps. So I have a couple other automations that I want to set up as well. So why don't we change this to done? And uh, what you'll see is that this should automatically move into implemented suggestions, which it just did. All right. So everybody should wear green on Tuesdays. And then another automation that I have set up is one for email. So when an item is moved to implemented suggestions, send an email to the board subscribers. Now, if you click on the actual email, this is where you can actually include tags in here. So it's gonna actually address that person, let them know that this is being implemented and this is something uh, that you want set up. And this is actually gonna go to all board subscribers in this particular case. And the reason for that is I wanna encourage people to let them know that if they're using the suggestion box, that it's actually being addressed. Like these are different changes that are coming about because you're giving us suggestions for the business. So now if I take a look at my email, you can see that I have an uh, automation here and you can see that the subject line is already on here. Everybody should wear uh, green on Tuesdays. And then here it says, thank you for your suggestion. I just wanted to say thank you for your suggestion and let you know that it's been implemented. We appreciate you sharing your ideas. Here is your suggestion for reference. Everybody should wear green on Tuesdays. So why don't we take a look just so you can see this again back and forth. So. Taking a look at this, this is where you can kind of start to troubleshoot it before you send these things out to everybody. Uh, you can see that the uh, the name of the person did not go in there. So why don't we go back and see what we missed right here. So if we take a look at this uh, coming through, you can see the requester was me. So what I wanna do is I wanna go back to this automation and then instead of changing it to, um, uh, instead of it saying this, I'm gonna have this switched up a little bit. 
Okay, so why don't we try this out now because what this should do is implement the requester's name in there. So now what should happen is in this email, whoever requested it is gonna see their name in there and it's gonna show up that this idea has been implemented and that we're thankful for it. So let's try this again. We're gonna update this. And again, I'm gonna go back to our suggestion form here and I'm gonna share the form and here's the link here. And why don't I just open this up again? And today, why don't we go February 2nd and 1924. We should ring a bell every time we make a sale. All right, and then this time, I'm gonna say this came from Deb Chico. So I'm gonna submit the form, and then going back to our forms here, we're gonna go to the main table here. Uh, so I'm gonna click refresh here. I found that if you refresh the page, things do come in a little bit faster. Sometimes it takes like 10, 15 seconds for something to show up. So a quick issue that I realized here is the suggestion did show up, but it went into the implemented suggestions group at the top. So I think the reason for this is that the form automatically is going to the top group. So what I'm gonna do is just switch the location of these groups. So I'm gonna put the suggestions at the top and implemented suggestions, I'm gonna pull to the bottom and see if that fixes things. So why don't we try this again really fast? Yep, so here we can see it, the suggestion right here. Uh, incoming form answer. And if I want to edit this, I can always make this, uh, you know, ring a bell. And then as it should happen right here, if I decide that this is going to be something that we are actually doing and it's done, this is something implemented. Uh, at this point, you can see that it drops down into the implemented suggestions right here, ring a bell. And then we should get an email that fires out again. And let's take a look at that email as revised. So just like that, you can see the automation. Uh, Dev Chica, she is getting credit for having a great idea and letting her know and the entire team that is subscribed to this board uh, that the idea has been implemented. We appreciate sharing the idea and that we are now gonna be ringing a bell every single time we have a sale on the sales floor. Now, what I would suggest if you're just getting started with monday.com, be sure to watch my tutorial and walkthrough right here. And if you are curious how it compares to Asana, I have a review of Monday versus Asana beneath that as well. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.